So what is new? We actually had to um, leave our rental because it was the time. But our house is far from the completion. And the only way how to survive is there in our home. It was pretty hard to get back to the camper, I have to admit. But we are here, we know what we want, and we are trying to make our life as easy as possible, um, especially in these temperatures um, that now reached, I think, 30 degrees. It's pretty messy, I know, it's very difficult, because the only place I can think, place things is here. This is our camper. We decided to just sleep in there, but I actually cook there because it's more convenient to come up. And because we are living more outside, we put up that beautiful triangle, which actually doesn't provide any shade <laughs> because it's too small. We thought that 3.6 meters might be enough, and it no. What is new is that we actually got to the point that the house was too damaged to be repaired. So uh, we signed a contract with a guarantee of sort of um, hidden faults and therefore we reported it to the company and they came immediately, they did expect, uh, inspections last uh, Thursday and they told us that we must stop working on the house for two weeks. And we will see what comes out of this. Uh, so it's perfect weather. So we actually <laughs> are like on holiday. What is very sad that we want it to progress. And I'll show you in the house that it's not a progress at all. So I'm going to get into the house from the back door, which will become a loo ultimately. So where we actually stopped working was when we uncovered the ceiling here in the bathroom because we again discovered mice nests etc and it it was just too much. But the main issue what happened was here in the there, this was the laundry before and this is an absolutely rotten floor. It comes out about here. You cannot even step here <laughs> in that place. So opening a window is a no now. And we also want to damage, uh, dem demolish this wall and open it up for the kitchen here. And as you can see, the ceiling looks this way. Uh, when the guy came and he put the screwdriver in this main beam there, size of the screwdriver half of it went straight into this beam so it's not fun um, we will see what is going to happen here so this is going to be our kitchen um, there and here with a fridge and here where we still keep the water is going to be a seating area we were hoping for <coughs> having something finished but it's not possible I don't know how long it is going to take the living room is pretty untouched um, we have another cooker here just for a quick coffee but we do not I do not cook here it's too dusty too hot but we managed to uh, make a cabinet for our tools and we are making a progress because we moved out of the rental and we've got like washing powders and things and we need to find the place. The worst room, <coughs> we also bought um, the insulation already, the worst room is the bedroom where it all started because it's still smelly no matter what. We keep the windows open 24 hours unless we go somewhere outside we close them of course it's so smelly here so we definitely need to get rid of that but we were told not to do a thing now the worst corner is there I mean when I come here <clears throat> I cannot breathe so 
despite the fact that I washed the, the ceiling and the walls with everything possible, it's smelly. So we probably have to exchange the whole floor. Now the problem is that we cannot buy wood because <laughs> Um, it's a shortage of wood in the world, so we were hoping to take all this dust out. I have to come out, I cannot be here. I just hope that one day this room, oh, oh, that feels so much better, like energetically. So these are the steps upstairs where we were hoping to go through, which we might still, but we will see. <clears throat> Um, in we wanted to clean the, the ceiling in that bedroom which is there and we came upstairs where there was another issue and it still is because half of the house is still with um, sawdust and there, there are mice definitely so we cleaned this part, this part, that part this part we already insulated a little bit but then we stopped so that's the ceiling from this bedroom, which was full of mice nests. And this is that rotten ceiling from the laundry. So we actually cannot do a thing here. It's so frustrating. And we started cleaning another floor, but this is what we are going to do. Um, we just need to drop three ceiling boards from the kitchen to be able to clean it completely um, put new paper new insulation and close the floor because we have nowhere to go we have a, a half functional bathroom however there is a toilet sink and a shower but we only have cold water so now it's fine because it's hot it's a bit of a carriage when you go under the shower and we still have one room left um, which is this one it has a, a lovely atmosphere we bought um, those plastic boxes to put our clothes in so not everything gets dusty we do not sleep here it's not possible but this room is still a room uh, we do not have the doors so two projects for this week which we can do is uh, put a door door uh, to that bedroom so we can close it and the second one <coughs> we actually brought from Slovakia from our flat um, the uh, boiler for hot water which our um, <coughs> plumber from Sweden approved that we can have and we are going to place it here but first we need to make a stud wall insulate it insulate the pipe maybe changing the the pipe for ventilation and then we can close um uh, then we can close that we can connect these pipes and have at least a hot water shower so still a lot to be done but we cut off all the pipes from radiators that were running all around because the whole heating system will be redone i can see a big wasp nest actually nest from here we had so many wasps nests here i mean it was unbelievable and we had the evidence that mice still come here um, we found one in the kitchen so there is the next project so if we manage to clean that part be behind the eaves of that plus the bedroom floor which is underneath that would be all the old stuff out and uh, <clears throat> if you were here and you were able to uh, <clears throat> smell it's completely different when it is cleaned and when you where when you enter somewhere where there are mice it's a big big difference so <clears throat> let's come to the balcony which is a storage for our wood panels Martin is sitting and having a coffee in our dining room where I started this is our camper 
the garage. We have water and electricity in the garage, fortunately. Beautiful forest, beautiful view, nice and quiet. Horses over there, that's so nice, we can hear them. But to be honest, I would like to be back in the, in the normal, <laughs> a little bit normal life. It's hot. <laughs> so, our kids have their trampolina. I planted something, but I don't know what it was. <laughs> but potatoes are growing. There is, I think, oregano, tomato, and some carrots. So what we actually need at the moment is a bit of a moral support <laughs> more than anything because it's not easy uh, at all. It's getting into the stage that if the weather changes and it gets cold then it may get very hard, but we've got some positive news. <laughs> After the last video when I was joking about uh, that if uh, the cleaning company ISS um, doesn't hire me, they miss the chance they actually called me. <laughs> but because uh, my Swedish is not fluent, far from fluent, I can speak, but I have problems with understanding. So. Uh, the other company called me <clears throat> and today I'm going for an interview, um, meeting them and I'll have a contract and it's um, a cleaning job only once a week which is perfect because I can still be here with the kids and once a week we can go there. So that's very positive but if you want to support us, as I said, primarily morally, <laughs> it would be really really happy the best thing is to watch the video hit the button I hate to say that because we originally started with um, just doing that um, YouTube channel for us but we are getting so many emails uh, from people asking questions so we thank you very very much I just want to show you that in, in videos uh, we look so happy but this is a hard time, a hard time.